Stanford University. Today, that we have actually had a million lecture video downloads, which is kind of insane. So um, thank you to everyone you know, who's been in the class. And a lot of it is new technology. It's an awesome device to actually program for, to play with. CS. It's fantastic. You know, I think it's uh, it's unprecedented. When I went to college, I mean, we, I learned some Pascal course, and it was so irrelevant to so whatever I was doing in real life. Here, they're finally they're having people using real technology they can use everyday life. I mean, right now, like I'm in a project group with a couple other people. And we're actually hoping to maybe, like, you know, I guess launch our final project application by June. For the uh, finger moving around on the screen, as long as it remains on there, it's still the same sequence, and then. And when the user lifts, that sequence ends. The response that we've gotten through iTunes U um, and exposure for the course is pretty amazing. Yeah, and from a TA's point of view, it's definitely a fun course to TA, and you don't really expect this kind of response <laughs> at, for just by TAing a course, so it's pretty awesome. It's a nice chance to be creative, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier when someone else is walking you through the documentation. <laughs> you guys doing anything secret? Uh, no, no. I can't really say because you know you gotta keep your you gotta keep your lips shut. Otherwise, people are gonna steal your ideas. Have to be a little bit hush hush about it. So yeah. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, uh, it's gonna end up not secret anyway, right? So. UI Touch has a few properties that are interesting. Uh, the first is a timestamp. So the timestamp since it, since the UI. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.